You can reset a dataset version in the test data mart to a target or test system to return the data in the test system to a required state. In this demo, we will reset the dataset version emp underscore test underscore data to a target system. To do this, we will first classify the tables in the dataset version and then reset the dataset version to a test system. Complete the following tasks before you begin the tasks in this demo. Log in to Test Data Manager, create a project empdb underscore data and add the required data source to the project. Create an entity with the required table as the driving table. Create a dataset version emp underscore test underscore data that includes this entity. To begin, open the dataset view. Click the dataset version emp underscore test underscore data to open the dataset version page. To view the tables in the dataset version, click the Plan Components tab and then click the Tables tab. Before you perform a reset operation, it is important to understand the data in both the dataset version and the target schema and the exact requirement from the reset. Are there any records in tables in the target schema that must not be deleted? Do other users share records in the tables in the target schema? Deleting these records might impact the work of other users. In this demo, the employee table is a table that is used by multiple users. Since deleting records in this table would impact the work of other users, we must ensure that no records from this table are deleted during the reset. Select the employee table and then click the Edit Table Type button. Classify tables in the dataset version according to the requirement. During a reset, no records are deleted in master tables. Records in transactional tables that exist in the dataset version are deleted and then inserted from the dataset version. To avoid affecting the work of other users, classify tables that have all shared records as master tables and tables with records that are not shared with other users as transactional tables. TDM considers unclassified tables as transactional tables. If you do not classify the tables before you perform the reset, all the tables are considered as transactional tables. When you classify a table as a master table, all its ancestor tables are classified as master tables. When you classify a table as a transactional table, all its descendant tables are classified as transactional tables. The impact of the classification is displayed in a grid below. Select an option to either mark only all descendant tables of the selected table as transactional tables or to mark all other tables as transactional tables. The second option marks all descendant tables and other unrelated tables as transactional tables. In this demo, we mark the employee table as a master table and select the option to mark all other tables as transactional. This marks all descendant tables and all unrelated tables as transactional tables. Click OK to return to the dataset version page. If you open the tables tab again, you can now see the tables listed with the table type classification. Click Overview to open the Overview tab. From the Actions menu on the right, click Reset. From the list of target connections, select the target type relational and click Select to browse for and select the target connection. Click OK. You can configure the reset operation depending on the output you require. In this demo, we use the default settings. Enter a backup recovery prefix and the backup recovery username. TDM creates tables in the backup schema in the format prefix underscore backup name. The backup recovery username must be the name of the schema in which you want to store the backup. You can configure additional error recovery and advanced settings if required. In this demo, we do not configure any of these properties. Click Next to move to the next step. In this demo, 
we do not override any settings. Click Next to move to the next step. Select the integration service and schedule the reset to run immediately. Click Finish to complete the configuration and begin the reset operation. Click OK. You can view the status of the reset job from the Monitor tab. When the job completes, you can view the data in the target schema to verify the results. That completes this demo. To summarize, we classified the tables in a dataset version and then reset the dataset version to a target test system.